www.youtubeinstructor.com. Today I want to show you a quick and easy way to upload your video to YouTube. To begin with, go ahead and open up a internet browser and go to www.youtube.com and go ahead and click on sign in. Once on the sign in page, type in your email address or your YouTube username and your password and click on sign in. Once you have your account page open, go ahead and click on upload. And once you have the upload page open, you can select files from your computer, upload multiple files by using your control key to select them, or record from webcam directly to YouTube. Today we're just going to go ahead and select files from my computer and I'm going to go out and find a video on my computer and open it up and upload it to YouTube. This one will work. Make Windows 7 faster and quicker. Okay, click open. Alright, uh, Make Windows 7 faster and quicker is now uploading to YouTube and while it's doing that I can edit my title, description, and my tags. So let me go ahead and remove the extension off the title. Certainly don't want that. And let me copy and paste part of this into the description. And um, let's see. Um, oh, quicker in a few simple steps. And uh, yeah, that'd be good for now. And some tags. Let me put some tags in here. Windows 7 and 32-bit, um, 64-bit, and uh, a few others here. All right, and uh, how about laptop? Yeah, laptop too. Okay. Alrighty, now my video is still uploading to YouTube and I can change my category here and determine which category to put it in. And I'm going to put it in how to and style. And uh, my privacy is going to be public because I want to share it and everyone to see it. And that's what rec is recommended anyway. License, standard YouTube license is good. Okay, and once... Um, we are still uploading here. Okay, so now we're processing and uh, it should be finished in just a moment here. Processing doesn't take too long. And we're finished with the processing. Upload complete. All right, make Windows 7 faster and quicker. My video is now up and I can watch that on YouTube. So at this point, Make Windows 7 Faster and Quicker is now active and uh, watchable on YouTube. Okay, that's it. So what is Pinterest? Simply said, Pinterest is a virtual pin board. It's a place to organize and share things that catch your eye on the web. At Braid Creative, we use it for visual curating, to collect inspiration for ourselves and to share our work in progress with our clients. Want your own Pinterest? Here's how. Step one, get an account. Right now, Pinterest is invite only. Ask one of your friends who already belongs to invite you. Or you can request a direct invite from Pinterest. Once you get an account, you'll want to set up your profile and biopic. It's easy, just like setting up your Twitter or LinkedIn profile. Step two, set up your pin boards. A pin is a picture you like and add to Pinterest. And a board is a collection or set of pins arranged by topic. When naming your boards, you can be as specific or creative as you like. And you can always add more boards later. At Braid, our boards help us sort the inspiration for our client projects, workspace, and even our dress code. Step three, start pinning. We recommend installing the pin it button on your browser's bookmark toolbar. 
This lets you pin from anywhere on the internet directly to your board. You want to pin a photo of a delicious dessert. Use the pin it button to pick the image you want. Then choose which of your boards you want to pin it to and add your own short description. Now the photo will appear on your own board. Plus, it saves the URL from the site it came from, so you can always find your way back to the original source. Step four, get social. Make friends and browse other pins. Pinterest will recommend trendsetters for you to follow based on your interests. But kind of like Facebook, you can find your own friends and follow their boards too. From there, you can start to repin images directly from Pinterest that you find captivating. You can also like and comment on other pins as well. Step five, install it on your phone. So if you become a Pinterest addict like myself, you'll probably want to install the Pinterest app on your iPhone. I hope that gave you a little insight or pin sight. For a bulleted breakdown, links and ideas on Pinterest boards, visit our blog at braidcreative.com and look for more how-tos Hi, my name is AK Stout, and this video is about how to use Twitter and some options that you have when working within Twitter. When you go to twitter.com and log in, you're first taken to your home screen. In the top left of your home screen, you can see information about your profile. You can compose a new tweet. You can see the trends for your area if you have your location entered into your settings. And then you're going to see a running feed of the tweets by the people that you're following. Coming up top here, sort of in the upper left of your profile, you're going to click on Connect. When you click on Connect, you can see Interactions. This is the people that have started following you recently and anybody that has mentioned your username or retweeted you. Here you can also get suggestions of people that you might want to follow. You can also follow people based on category by clicking on Browse Categories. Or if you click on Find Friends, you can find friends that you have from Facebook that are on Twitter, friends from LinkedIn that are on Twitter. You can also enter your email information and see if any of your email contacts are on Twitter. Going back up to our menu options across the top, the next section is called Discover. Here you can see what people are talking about on Twitter. These are going to be the most popular stories. Tweets have come in on these stories all day. If you want to see the tweets about these stories, as you scroll down, you can click on View Tweets About This. In this section of Discover, you can also see activity. Activity happens when people that you're following follow other people, people that you're following add people to lists, etc. You will also get friend suggestions here as well. Let's go back out to the home screen. Besides being able to compose a tweet here, there's also things you can do with the tweets that are coming in from the people that you're following. If you put your cursor over top of one of the tweets, you can reply. Ignore classic retweet, that's an extension that I have. You can go to retweet and simply repost verbatim exactly what that person posted to your network. You can go to favorite and mark a tweet as favorite to come back and look at it later. You can also open a tweet. When you open a tweet, if that person has put uh, a picture or a video like you see here that will open. It'll tell you how many retweets there's been, how many favorites there's been on that particular tweet. And if you want to see that tweet further, you can click on details and it'll open that tweet up in a whole new page just by itself, giving a uni unique URL to that tweet should you need it for reposting purposes. You can also create lists on Twitter. If you go up to your little person icon in the upper right hand corner, you can see A, where your direct messages are. Direct messages, just to back up a second, are messages that were sent just to you that are personal. That means they're not tweets, so they're not public. Only people who are following one another can send direct messages back and forth, but it's a nice way to privately communicate on Twitter. But again, here you can also go to lists. So you can create lists of people on Twitter. It'll help you kind of sort through the noise on Twitter. 
So for example, I might have a list of people from the Baltimore Sun, or I have a list of Baltimore businesses that I'm following. So that when I click on these lists, I'm just going to see the tweets from those people. If I want to create a list, I'll come to the top here and click on Create List. I can put a description I want, I can make it private so it's just for me, or public so other people can also follow my list. That way when I'm out on Twitter, if I find somebody I want to follow who should go on a list, I can click on their avatar, I can follow them, or I can click on the drop down next to their name. You can see I have lots of options here. And if I want to add them to a list, I'll click add or remove from list. Then I can select which list I want to add them to and then close out and I'm done. And those are just some of the things that you can do with Twitter.